If you work in the pharmaceutical industry, you are most likely familiar with stability studies for shelf life calculations. The ICH have given a guideline for how shelf life calculations can be made. Now I say guideline because regulatories such as the FDA or the EMA require you to follow this guideline. Many companies have created their own validated platform in Excel to follow this guideline and have a lock version that is used. But in reality, often many copies of this exist throughout the company and it can be difficult to ensure that everyone is using the same version. Jump also has a platform that uses the ICH guideline to calculate shelf life. And you could be using this without the hassle of having to validate it and without the hassle of having sure that everyone is on the same version. Here is some data that have been gathered with the purpose of calculating shelf life. And you can see that I have four columns. I have batches A, B, and C. I can see that everything is given in months. I have time points giving from zero to 36. And I have the result here. And I have ranges from 491 to 553. To launch the, if the um, stability platform and jump, we need to go to analyze reliability and survival, and degradation. We then need to go to stability. Then I specify that the result is my Y response. The time is time point. And the label system ID is the batch number. I then specify that my lower specification limit is 500. And I press OK. Now I can see that my three different batches have been given three different colors. I can see that they are at different starting points. I can read over here that it has different intercepts, but common slope. Now, different intercepts are okay because we can start at different concentrations, but it's important to have the same degradation slope for all your batches. We can't have different batches of the same drug having different shelf lives. And I can see that it is batch C that has the first crossover with my lower specification limit. And that then dictates that this ICH guideline indicates an expiration time of 27.4 months. Now the AVID viewer will see that the data that I've been using to calculate the shelf life has a lot of variation. And it actually has so much variation that I would say this data is not adequate to calculate shelf life. So why would I choose this data for my example? because I wanted to show you that even if you have good software, you can still draw bad conclusions. And it is still very much on your shoulders to ensure that the conclusions taken from this application is correct and that you have used it in the way that it is supposed to be used with data that is adequate for the purpose. But thank you for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more content on Jump and Statistics. And catch you in the next one. Bye.